afternoon for our energy efficient um, boilers webinar. My name is Francesca Crowley. I'm the um, Vice President of Training and Specifications for Cinevac. And this is one of our 15 minute webinar series where we try to pack as much powerful information as we can into a time efficient space. Um, we know a lot of people are, are busy and a lot of plant managers, facility managers, and others um, have busy days. Um, I will also be available, of course, after the webinar um, on our online chat on the website or by email or phone anytime to answer questions. So it's going to take me just about 10 minutes to go through some of the key information. And then I'll open it up and take questions through the chat. And of course, I'll be happy to stay a little bit longer for anybody that has other questions. So we'll get right into it. For the um, webinar today, we're going to touch on what exactly is the heat shield H2O, EPX H2O insulation clean. What are the time, kind of temperature reductions and safe touch capabilities you can expect from it? How is it specifically used on boilers? And what has it done for people in real world case studies? We'll go over the application, which is um, very easy, and then touch on a few other places you can use. So um, first, our heat shield EPX H2O, it's our most powerful and fastest curing um, coating of our full sustainable coating line by Cinevac. We have a line of um, industrial coatings, which the EPX falls into, and building application coatings as well. The EPX is the only one that's a two-part system, and it does have some other benefits as well, such as the fast cure and chemical resistance. All the coatings use the same key technology, which is a nanocomposite, which reduces heat conduction, and is also hydrophobic or water repellent, which gives the coatings the ability to provide corrosion prevention and prevent corrosion under insulation, or CUI, um, moisture resistance, mold resistance, and um, durability in extreme environments. It, it's uh, very durable and doesn't degrade like your traditional fiberglass or rock wool type insulations. The EPX specifically also has very high chemical resistance. It has flash resistance to up to 98% sulfuric acid. So all of our coatings are patented, only sold under our brand name, and they have been providing sustainable solutions around the globe in over 60 countries for well over a decade. This next slide is a quick snapshot of kind of how, how what the technology um, looks like. And a lot of people say, well, if it's just a coating, how, how can it insulate? How can it do all these wonderful things that, um, the, that we see it can do through the case studies? And actually, the nanomaterial is the key component, the key component that is reducing heat conduction causing it to act as a liquid form of insulation. And then we do, of course, have a high quality custom resin systems as well. In the case of the EPX, it's a two-part system, has a much longer pot life than most two-part systems, um, about 24 hours after A and B are mixed together. And so when you combine those two, we've basically created a coating form or a liquid form of insulation that is also very durable and has multiple other qualities as well. And you can see in the photo, that is the surface of the EPX. It's the um, only coating we have that, that has the pebbled, not smooth finish. But that's, the reason for that is it uses a bit larger particle. And so that particle is part of the pebbled finish. And next, we'll look at some of the temperature reduction capabilities. And we also, besides these slides, we have a full chart on our website, which gives a nice gradient of reduction based upon anywhere between two to six coats at varying temperatures. Um, often real world applications, you'll see even better results than our gradient charts because we do like to quote on the low side and have people be pleasantly surprised with a bigger difference. So in this case, just two coats um, of the EPX and each coat is only about 10 mils or 254 microns, so fairly thin. Um, you can get uh, just roughly over 100 degree Fahrenheit difference with just two coats in this in this example. On the Celsius side, that would be right about 56.6 Celsius difference. And then we do get the question, with more coats, um, can I get a better difference? Can I get a higher temperature difference or reduce more heat? And of course, the answer is yes. Um, the typical coat range is anywhere between two up to eight. We do occasionally have some applications at 10 coats. 
But usually in that range, you're getting um, a really good energy savings and surface temperature reduction. So at six coats, you can see it goes up. This is 162 Fahrenheit reduction in this case at six coats, 90 Celsius um, on the Celsius side at six coats. And then we'll um, jump into some of our boiler specific case studies. And this one is at a large paper mill. Um, we have a um, important distributor in the southeastern United States. They work both with boiler maintenance contractors and um, paper mills, uh, paper manufacturers and others, of course, other types of manufacturers. So when they went in and they wanted to show them how powerful the EPX was. And so in this case, they coated just a very small area, you see, of the boiler. Normally, if I'm specifying a trial application for someone to see the results, I'm going to ask them to coat a little bit more because you do tend to get heat coming from the uncoated area. But you can see the EPX is so powerful that even in this application, and you only had about six thin coats in that circle, it got a very nice temperature reduction of over 105 Celsius with those six coats and 109.5 degrees Fahrenheit, both lowering the surface temperature and, of course, reducing the energy that the boiler used. In this next boiler-specific application, and I really like this one because it shows the step process. For instance, um, there may be a customer that says, well, I, I want to hit my sweet spot on number of coats. So can I try four coats? And then if I want to get a little bit lower, then put on two or three or however many more later. And yes, because of how easy the coating is to apply, it's very easy to add more coats later. And so in this case, they went out on day one and they applied a four coat coverage onto the um, boiler end, you'll see, right on the end of this boiler. And this was at a hospital. Sometimes we only think about um, boilers being in manufacturing plants, but a lot of institutional buildings have them as well, campuses, um, universities, hospitals, other large um, facilities. So in this case, when they put on the four coats and they, they coated it while the boiler was hot, that's another benefit of the coating. You don't have to take equipment out of use to coat it. Right after it dried, which was roughly two hours, they were able to measure um, a temperature, temperature difference from 110 Celsius, which is 230 Fahrenheit, all the way down to about 72.9 Celsius or 163.22 Fahrenheit. Now, in their case, they wanted both um, safe touch temperature, which is right in the range of 140 Fahrenheit, 60 Celsius. And so they were just above that. So they came back the next day and they added two more coats and that got them well below the safe touch limit. It brought it down from 230 Fahrenheit to 136 Fahrenheit, a difference in 94 degrees Fahrenheit. On the Celsius side, that'd be from 110 Celsius down to 57.8 Celsius. So over 50 Celsius um, degrees Celsius difference. And you can see in the second thermal imaging, this was done at the six coats where um, they had reduced it even more. Um, one nice thing also about this case study is, um, and that's Dwayne in the photo. This is one of our, our favorite new photos that, that um, he was nice enough to send. The plant manager was actually so happy to, or the facility manager in this case, was so happy at the surface temperature reduction of the boiler that he actually took that photo of Dwayne with his face on the side of the boiler just to, to illustrate and show how cool it was. And then you can see how in um, our specifications we do, I will take the heat loss in BTUs per hour per square foot, and I can calculate that out based upon heat loss from bare surfaces. So in this case, it was actually over 50% reduction in the BTUs per hour per square foot emanating from that boiler, which is quite a huge energy saving. When I do full specifications for people, I can actually calculate it out into energy savings based upon the operating hours of the piece of equipment, the um, coverage area of what's being covered in the cost, and I can do a full uh, cost and payback analysis. Now, going into the application overview, um, our really only recommended method of application is the texture sprayer. And I'll explain why on the next slide. Although in, in rare instances you could brush apply, you have to be very careful not to lose the pebble finish. So for the surface prep, it's very similar to other types of coating or uh, surface prep. You want the surface clean. You don't have to sandblast. You can do wire brush or hand tool clean. 
and you just want it clean and dry, clean and dry for good adhesion. The texture sprayer makes it very easy to spray over um, a heated surface or even a cool surface if you're not going over a heated one. And then, of course, you want to measure um, the film thickness to make sure you get the right thickness of each coat on. Um, before the next coat goes on, you simply want it completely dry to touch. Um, much like other types of paints and coatings, you want the surface dry and then the next coat can go over. And as I mentioned, the EBX has an expanded pot life of 24 hours. You have 24 hours to apply it after you've mixed part A and part B together. And um, in the next slide, we kind of show you the, the right way and the wrong way, um, uh, the good and the bad of application. Of course, right, you want to measure with the wet film thickness gauge. You don't, um, if I've helped to do a specification and we found out that six coats will meet your temperature specification, but if the applicator doesn't measure the coats and they thought they got six coats on, but they only got four, then of course it's not going to um, meet the target. So measuring uh, with the thickness gauge is very important. Right way, of course, in the next picture, is having a pebbled finish throughout the look of the coating. Those pebbles, um, what's making the pebbles are the larger nanoparticles that is in the system. So you want to make sure you're there. On the wrong side, in that photo, that was where someone was trying to use a roller, which we don't recommend using, and smoothing out the finish of the coating, which of course means there's no insulating particle on the surface. So when I say you can brush um, on rare occasion, because we do have people that will ask, can they brush? Yes, but you have to make sure you keep the pebbles. You can't in the finish. You, you, you do not want any smooth surface areas. And then, of course, um, beyond boilers, really the EPX coating can be used on any type of heat process equipment, um, from vessels um, to dyeing machines. It's big in the textile industry, all types of tanks. We've had people want to use it on metal buildings as well. And really, it's very easy to apply, excellent adhesion, very durable. And of course, we sell it both in the um, by the gallon. And each gallon includes the part A and the part B as a kit. For instance, we have a one gallon size where part A and part B mixed together will be a gallon. We have a two gallon kit size. We have a five gallon kit size. On the, um, we also have a kit. If you want to get started right away, you already want to have the texture sprayer. It also includes the wet film thickness gauge and a drop cloth and two gallons of the EPX. So uh, the Premier kit makes it nice to have everything you need and just get started right away. And then we also have a um, reference video, which um, you will see on our Cinebax website, but I also in this presentation, and I will send you a copy of it right after the webinar, you can um, uh, take a look and it will show you both this spray application and another spray application on the tank with the texture sprayer, just to show you how easy it is. And then of course, I'm available anytime to um, answer questions. Um, provide a specification for a customer or a certain piece of equipment to help you understand how much product you want to use to reach a particular goal. And I'm often on um, one of our uh, website chats during um, certain times of the day and of course available by email anytime or phone or Skype as well. So that kind of wraps up our quick um, overview and um, of the EPX and how powerful it is and its use on boiler. And, um, now I'll go ahead and um, if you want to um, send any questions to me in the chat, I'll be happy to answer those for you.